it uh, went out the it I wait for yes. it it went out the live broadcasting because it's too much too much energy and when it's uh, coming this energy in the air it can uh, close what's uh, the other electric so source so uh, th this have happened sometimes for me uh, when I talk in a telephone or that uh, it cut off because they like that I told you, uh, I told you in the other live broadcasting that I felt God was on me immediately. Uh, and it, it's so much now uh, electricity in the air, so I don't know if it's going to leave this live live broadcasting or if the there's this energy that is inside me and around me if it's going to make it cut off it's very sensitive with the uh, internet special so I have a very nice Wi-Fi and uh, these things, so it should not happen. Uh, but now is it God want to talk, and He have coming down here for to talk. So when it cut off, I was on my way to say what God told me before I started this live broadcasting that he say that it it was an evil saying but in the same way was it what it what my life had been and in him in God I God is in me we are uh, I, God and I am one and it have always been but he have not being so close every time he go away and then I have come in but now he is with me all the time more and less and now is it his time and he say that to me that I should start the live broadcasting to tell you that my my parents they always say it to me and when I was a child, that my will was hanging in the forest. I had nothing to say. Nothing was in my will. It was of them, their will. I was nothing. And it, that was in a bad, evil way to say to a child that her, her opinion, her will, is nothing and uh, but in God's way is it the, is it good because it's God's will that always coming first so that's okay here that I my will is nothing my will is hanging in the forest uh, so I, I I say to God that I, I pray to him that he should start by giving me picture visions and talk talk to me with words and I oh he's on me so much. And uh, I don't know what he want to say. 
And that was uh, about the same I say in my first live broadcasting video 2015. I, I did this. I don't know what he wants to say. I only know he wanted me to go live. And here I go again five years later and say that I don't know what God wants to tell you. The only he told me before I started here was that it should be a warning. But a warning for this time, this earth, this planet, he, he has a warning. And I don't know what it is, so I let him, let him come through and talk. He showed me a beach. It's crowded. It's so much people on the beach. That's a vision he started with. You see what? He give me. He do like this. He take away, away on the beach. It is not only about this crowd because he he showed me like a tsunami is coming. Is it in spirit way or is it worldly way, God? No, it's a spirit way he's going to, like a tsunami he's going to take away many people because I see the tsunami is going up on the beach people are there, they didn't expect it to come, this tsunami way, the flood, the water was coming over the people and uh, it's, it's not really about the beach, it's about the wave, it's going to come. He said, many more, many more, there's many more plaques is coming all over the world. You know, he said, what, in one corner, then one corner. It's going, it's not going to be in the same place. It will hit some countries, areas, this black that is coming. And what is these people on the beach, they, they were not expected it. But it is to be prepared. God's people know this is true, what he tell me, and uh, they do what he tell them to do. They don't laugh at God's word, they prepare themselves. No. Uh, I hear from someone of you uh, sitting here and watch this that you say but about money and work do I hear is is these people that don't understand God because God is not about money God is not about ordinary work. 
when there is life threatening, when when it's about your life, then the work doesn't matter, the money doesn't matter. You have to survive. He, I hear him saying this word that he take away the goats. That's what he's saying. I take away the goats. And it doesn't matter, he say, if you're standing in the pulpit, if you are staying and preaching, suddenly you're gone. I take away all the goats. I clean up the churches. There will be. No, I, I hear it. It's uh, showing with your teeth. It's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be worried, bitterness, and this, those negative things on earth. This, he said to me that this, this have only be begin, begun. And it's going to be more. And uh, I don't like that, what you say, God. But I I want to, I have to tell people what you are saying. Uh, even it's not a word I, I want to use, but I, it's not my will. It's your will, God, so I have to say it. If you not turn, turn your life to me, I will not protect you. He said, my sheep are going astray for a long time. Yes, if, yes, God, I don't tell them that uh, he said that uh, you know what it is. You that, that is my sheep that have going astray and uh, you know deep inside you that you are going wrong. And you are a killer. You kill people with with the words you that you didn't know. You didn't know. You learn. You teach people. You preach people what you have heard from generation back. And it was error the whole time. It's your will, God, not my will. So I have to say what I hear God is saying. And uh, I have to say what I see. God, it's it's yours, your live broadcasting. So I pull you, pull you here more. Tell people that there is people 
I hear people now say, what should we do? What? <laughs> this oh, desperate. What? <laughs> Tell us what to do. They say, but when God is saying the opposite of what you expect Him to say, because He say that to me now that it's not about the church. Don't go to the church. You have to make your own decision. You should not sit in the church and hear those lies. It's time. It's time now for a generation, this generation, to take a stand, he says. He says a stand. And not, and be against your parents, against in a good way, not in a bad way. The children is going away from what the parents have talk when he talking about the church he said that you have never you have never seek me you have never done it on your own you have listened listen to other what they are saying and you go to the church like it's a club you don't take me serious. That's what God is telling you. So this is a warning that he said that he should do. Because the warning is to not take it lightly. Don't take God for granted like a, a fairy tale somewhere where you your parents sit and read for you before going to bed. They read for your fairy tales. That's what it is. And you have to grow up now. You have to could stand by yourself and not rely and lay on what those generation before us was talking about because they didn't know they didn't know me say God to me they di they didn't know me but they pretend that they knew me but they never knew me and then then they go the devil's way to help him to take take you and all the people and and you help them help the devil to kill people by the way you preach and you don't know what you are preaching you you're only preaching in a traditional way. It's like a cult, he say. That's a hard word, but God is not a soft speaking God. He tell you how it is because he's a spirit God. And the spirit is the truth. And the truth can never be too hard. It can never be too bold. It must be said. It's not cut off some words, cut off some chapter in the Bible. Cut off the Old Testament and make it smooth. No, it's not time for that. God is saying. He's, what, I, what I hear from God is He's disappointed on us. 
maybe on me also, so I say uh, us. He's both, both disappointed and very, very, very angry. Because the world is so stubborn. It's, it's like this with Egypt, Moses and Aaron in Egypt. It's the same thing going on, you know, the history repeats itself. After a 